As I understand it, Moore's law dictates that the number of transistors on a chip will double roughly every 24 months. Now, does that mean that the speed also doubles? Theoretically. God, if you double your speed even once, I'd have an easier time staying awake while you were talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let me give some examples as quickly as I can. In 1949, the ENIAC computer calculated pi to 2,037 digits in 70 hours. Now, the modern laptop can do the same thing in 3.5 seconds, 5 million times faster than this 1950. Or I can calculate it another way. In 1971, the world's first microprocessor ran at 108 kilohertz. That's each transistor switching at 108,000 times per second. Today's dual core processors exceed speeds of 2.5 gigahertz, or 2.5 billion operations per second, accepting the hertz measurement as a function of the performance. That seems like about twice as fast. But the modern computer can do more work than the old, so it's not a straight comparison. My laptop has 6,000 times the number of transistors, so you have to divide that 1.2 millimeters by 6,000. Let me put it another way. I was afraid of this. However, it does seem to confirm Moore's law. Adam can work really fast if he's interested in something, but sometimes he moves so slow it just drives me nuts. It's funny, computers are kind of that way too. You know, I heard once that computers have some kind of built-in timer that gradually slows them down so that whenever a new model comes out, it seems really fast. Yeah, right. It sounds like an urban legend to me. You don't believe it's true? I don't know. No way to tell, really. Hmm.